The static kill is similar to the failed earlier attempt at a top kill, but engineers have a better chance of success this time because the well is capped and they don't have to try to overcome the force of gushing oil. Three and a half months after BP's well blew out and began spewing oil into the Gulf of Mexico, engineers are on the verge of sealing it for good. I think everybody would like to have this thing ended as soon as possible. We don't know uh, the condition of the well until we start to put mud in it. After final tests tonight, heavy mud will be pumped from a surface ship down a drill pipe through the blowout preventer and into the well. If the static kill works as planned, the mud will push the oil back into the underground reservoir, allowing engineers to then pump cement into the well, sealing it from the top. Later this month, more mud and cement may be pumped in from a relief well almost 18,000 feet below the surface, permanently killing the well. We know the Coast Guard would love to see this, uh, the kill work and uh, the Gulf Coast return to normal. Also today, researchers reported the dead zone, which forms in the Gulf every summer as a result of runoff from the Mississippi River, is one of the largest ever. The area of ocean, which lacks proper oxygen to sustain life, is now almost 8,000 square miles, roughly the size of Massachusetts. However, researchers did not find a link to the spilled oil. It's very difficult to assign any oil spill effect, positive or negative, um, on this um, this map for this year. It's a pretty typical map. It uh, was right dead on to the estimate. And a new EPA analysis shows chemical dispersants used to break up the oil are no more toxic to life than the oil alone, strengthening BP's claim that bombarding the oil with up to two million gallons of dispersant was the best option. BP's COO said on Sunday he believes seafood from the Gulf is safe to eat. And I would eat their food, the seafood out of the Gulf here, and I would feed it to my family. Still, fishermen and others who rely on Gulf seafood aren't entirely convinced. They are looking for assurances that no dispersants or oils are getting into seafood being sold to the public. Katie? Meanwhile, Don, I know BP is taking another PR hit tonight with an investigation of possible insider trading. What can you tell us about that? Well, according to news agency reports, there were certain individuals within the company who may have made trades when the spill first happened based on information that the general public didn't have, therefore profiting illegally uh, from those trades. We're still waiting on official comment from BP. Katie? Right. Don Teague, Don, thanks so much.